Uh, I'll read you the first five, which people should be taught in schools, I think. And I want to make a little course about this, you know, to help people live life, basically. And I know I need to learn new skills. Accountability. Now, that is one thing that I find very, very important. It's so like when you're doing things right and everything's going okay and you're spot on with everything and it's great. But when you make a mistake, your gut feeling tells you what you should do. And if you go against that, that's when you're not being accountable. So what I'm saying is, if you've done something wrong or said something wrong to somebody and you know you've done it, what you need to do is own up to it. Be a man. <laughs> I know, not politically correct anymore to say that sort of thing, but that's what accountability means. Second one is critical thinking. That means any information that comes into you, a rumour, say, or a news item, or even you're reading something in the newspaper, or even a book. What you need to do is look at that, read it, absorb it, take the information in, but question find our other sources to validate that um, this is thinking outside the box this okay and also what I said to Soxy Sandals Tim about there are there were no Romans well the guy who publishes these books Ross Broadstock that's where the information came from and when you listen to me in that video I sound stupid because I'm believing anything but when you listen to Ross Broadstock and he brings you all that research and that evidence to the fore and shows you how this is true from his point of view, that is critical thinking, okay? Getting all the information out and making sure that they all cross-reference each other and you think, yes, that does make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, then you've got to start questioning, where are the anomalies? Where are the paths are leading me down the wrong route where the lies basically okay so critical thinking is very important and then you have got decision making and I usually find that people who put a lot of arms and R's in their text in their way of speaking their presentation they don't know what they're talking about now I'm going to be saying that now <laughs> What you've got to do is know your subject and also if you know your subject you're going to be able to say right that's what I want, that's my goal, these are the steps I'm going to make to get there and that is what I'm going to do. Nothing should deter you from that unless of course you're like an aeroplane and you have a goal in mind but to get there you're constantly adjusting your controls to get to destination that's what decision making is because then you don't faff anybody around everybody knows that you're accountable you can critically think <laughs> see that's the first three things they're very good things that you need life skills aren't they knowing when to shut up I have come across a lot of people there are a lot of people in my life I don't know whether I attract them to me or not, but they talk an awful lot. <laughs> and while they're entertaining, sometimes you think, what about me? <laughs> they're just going on and 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 on about themselves, about what they've done, about what they've achieved, about what they can do. And after a while you think, are they not interested in anybody else but themselves? When you have a normal conversation with somebody, you ask a question or you say, hi, how are you? And you give a nice salutation and then you say, how's your day? Isn't it lovely today? And you remark about the things around you and you get their response so that you figure out what kind of mood they're in. That's the general gist of an introductory conversation, okay? <laughs> we don't do this consciously, we do it subconsciously. And that's what normal human beings do when they're interested in other people. 
So, from that, you gauge how that person is feeling and then, or what type of emotions they're going through. And then, you either give them some information about yourself and then you pause, which is active listening, and wait for them to respond. You don't kind of consciously do it so that it's like a, a big long pause so that you're testing them that's not fair it's just naturally giving them space people who talk an awful lot are either frightened don't feel confident enough in themselves or they're just arrogant pricks <laughs> they just don't think about anybody else they're selfish and they're just rabbiting on and on and on not really caring about what anybody else thinks or says or does not really interested in anybody else anyway what's the next one? Oh, accepting compliments and criticism some people today feel as though they lack the confidence to accept a compliment they have been beaten up so badly throughout their lives that they don't feel good enough to accept oh somebody has said to you oh that's a lovely thing that you're wearing there or you look very nice today and they think oh embarrassed oh no I didn't want that I, I don't feel no oh it's only an old thing got it from a charity shop playing themselves down instead of saying oh thank you and they walk away. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Criticism, though, is a bit different because we're not really trained to accept criticism. It even hurts me when I when somebody says to me ugly things in my comments below. I think uh, first of all I recoil from it. Secondly, I absorb it. I read it. I look at it, and I take the intention away from it and I think mm, they're entitled to their opinion I guess <laughs> but that's them so I can just say thank you for your opinion and walk away or I can just say oh is that what you think it doesn't really matter whether people compliment or criticize you what matters is the way you handle it. It is nice to keep having validation from people, either good or bad. But people often want people to say to them whether they're doing right or wrong. It makes them think they're on the path that they should be on. But it also funnels you down a route that you think is acceptable to other people and then that doesn't create your own personality does it so really at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what anybody else says because you're going to be yourself anyway you should be yourself you should because I don't know really how many people are on this planet I don't believe there are nearly 8 billion people on the planet they say there are 1 billion in China or 1 billion in India so that leaves 6 billion for the rest of the planet the rest of this world I've been reading up about Flat Earth and, and looking at loads of videos and oh my goodness, it makes an awful lot of sense. <laughs> I'm on the fence, but um, it is very, very convincing. Uh, see, critical thinking, research, understanding things from all the different points of view. There are loads and loads of little things on here that there are ways to live in life and knowing these skills helps you get through that life and I look at life as an experience something that you, know, you go throughout your day and you reach a hiccup and your job is or your task is to figure a way around that hiccup or that obstacle or that hurdle and sometimes life is easy right now for me I'm from sitting in this van I'm in a neutral place I'm not being harassed by anybody, nobody's bothering me, I'm allowing my brain to explore new paths, I'm reading, 
I'm researching and I'm writing all the hours <laughs> W <laughs> and I can even daydream and daydreaming is a part of life that you should not neglect at all because that allows your body and your mind to relax it allows you to figure out lots of things it's like a little computer on rest mode not heating up it's cooling down and that's what daydreaming allows you to do so if you see your child staring out the window don't criticize them you don't have to compliment them either but allow them that time allow them to daydream because that's when their brain is figuring out lots of things about life about this experience that they're experiencing <laughs> and it's wonderful